This video is brought to you by Scopic.com. Get yours now. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Phil from TheCage.com, and what you see here is the latest from Xiaomi. It's the Redmi Note 4X. The Redmi Note series has been there for quite a while. We have reviewed the Redmi Note and the Redmi Note 3, Redmi Pro, and now here is the Redmi Note 4X. This is also known for the Hasana Miku edition. Unfortunately, this isn't one, but we surely know that you are going to be interested in the phone itself, not her. But anyway, let's go right in. We have the phone here. It is indeed the 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. The 4 gigabyte of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage version is coming soon. Xiaomi says, but we're going to dive right in here. So here is the phone itself and the packaging stays the same. We have gone through the Redmi Note 3 and it's not exactly spectacular considering the prices, which is less than $200, uh, we think is totally acceptable. Here is a little charging brick that has an output of 5 volts 2A. Snapdragon 625 is capable of fast charges, but with the included charger, you are not going to have that. But 5 volts 2A still is 10 watts, so I guess it's acceptable. So here is the micro USB cable. Micro USB because the Redmi Note 4X comes with the micro USB port. And whoops, and the cable looks it looks okay. It doesn't look too weak. We hope it stays along with the quality. And here's a little pin to remove the SIM card tray from your phone. And that's it. No earphones, no nothing, no fancy things. But again, it is indeed a cheap phone. So let's start by removing the protective plastic front and back. Okay, so here is the phone itself. What you see on the very front side is a 5.5 inch of the full HD IPS display. It does have a little curvatures on the edges. They call it the 2.5B glass. Receiver on the top, five megapixels of front facing camera, three capacitor keys there, multitasking home and the back key. These are swappable or not, I'm not really sure. We have to get into the system. And on the right side, you have the power key, volume rocker, and the earphone jack on the very top with the infrared port, I guess, and the secondary microphone for your noise cancellation. Moving on to the bottom, you have a micro USB port and seemingly a speaker on this side and microphone on that side. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's the other way around, but surely it's not stereo speakers. On the back is a 13 megapixel camera with the dual tone LED flash and the fingerprint reader. That's not a power key, that's the power key. So that's pretty much it. Comparing that with the older model, here is the last, last generation uh, Redmi Note 3. And they're almost identical except for a few design changes. Now it's got a little chamfer cut there between the antenna and the actual metal body while the Note 3 does not. Speaker has been moved from the back to bottom and aside from that there's very subtle differences. It looks almost identical if you don't pay close enough attention. With that let's get started with the settings. We're now into the MIUI, it's actually 8.1 based on Android Marshmallow and that was a very quick setup because if you get the local model, local Chinese model, you do not have the Google Play services access so you can install this separately or you can install the global ROM if that is available for your model. But anyway, so here's a launcher, it does not have the app drawer just like many other Chinese phones so you'll have the icons lining down at the very background. Uh, you can install a third party launcher, you can go to multitasking, back and that's pretty much the basics. MIUI is known for its distinct look and distinct functions. I'm not exactly a fan of it, but here it is. As it's getting updated to the 8.1, it did get better, so we'll have to see how it actually performs in real life with the very latest version, although this is not based on Android Nougat. Unfortunately, hopefully it's going to get updated. Aside from that, basic functions are pretty much there. It's Snapdragon 625 octa-core processor, face detection autofocus with the camera, VO LTE, LTE category 6, and dual SIM, of course, if you're going to run two SIM cards in one phone. Our last experience with the Redmi Note 3 was not exactly spectacular with its MediaTek processor, but it's not exactly great battery optimization. We hope that is not true since the 625 is known for its battery efficiency. We hope that is the very case. We'll have to spend some time and tell you more about the very latest, the Redmi Note 4X. Thank you always for watching and we'll be able to tell you more on the next video. We'll see you guys then. Ciao.